Welcome to Sprint Zeal Six Sigma Green Belt Training. My name is Dan Boyle, and I'm a master Six Sigma Black Belt. I'll be your guide through this Lean Six Sigma Green Belt course. By the end of this course, we will discuss the basics of Six Sigma, describe the activities of the defined phase, explain the tasks performed in the measure phase, perform data analysis and hypothesis testing in the analyze phase, we're going to identify the possible improvement actions for the performance of variation within the improve phase. And then we're going to define efficient operating levels for KPIVs, which are key process input variables, and KPOVs, which are key process output variables within the control phase. Now, Sprint Zeal's book of knowledge aligns with that of the American Society of Quality, or ASQ who's the premier training agency worldwide for Six Sigma training. The table of contents that's going to be covered throughout this course is aligned with the ASQ table of contents that was released in 2014. Now, Six Sigma is an industry neutral discipline that can be applied to over 70 different sectors. Some of the examples would include IT, manufacturing, healthcare, defense, telecommunications, banking, and finance. Six Sigma is a highly disciplined management tool with a statistical, analytical, and data-driven approach. It focuses on developing a process, eliminating the defects, and delivering quality products and services consistently. For professionals, Six Sigma Greenbelt is the first step of the professional Six Sigma certification. The Six Sigma Greenbelt certified individual functions under the supervision of a Six Sigma Black Belt. So after completing the certified Six Sigma Green Belt course, a professional will be able to use basic statistical tools and complete short run line of business, product line, business processes, or other service projects. This course is designed for professionals who work in process improvement teams, solve problems related to quality, and work closely with a Six Sigma lean or other quality improvement project. In terms of any course prerequisites, it's recommended that candidates must have at least two to three years of work experience in any sector that would benefit from an improved quality and reduction of defects or errors. Now, as a professional, you're going to be able to benefit from Six Sigma. First, it begins with a demonstration of knowledge in Six Sigma tools and processes, assisting with data collection and analysis for any black belt project. You'll be able to lead Six Sigma green belt teams, and you'll solve problems with data and analytics. And you'll also help in identifying the gaps in a process and then fixing them. Organizations can benefit from a Six Sigma project by identifying the root cause of problems, eliminating defects within a process, avoiding process variation and waste, standardizing their processes, and addressing the key business requirements. And if we can do this, we'll be able to gain a competitive advantage. Now, there are six lessons in total within this course. It's going to begin with an overview of Six Sigma and organizational goals, where we'll talk about Six Sigma, organizational goals, some lean principles, and design for Six Sigma. Then we'll move into the DMAIC methodology, and it begins with define. And in define, we'll look at project identification, voice of the customer, project management basics, project management and planning tools, some business results for projects, and then some team dynamics and performance. The next phase of DMAIC will bring us into measure. And in measure, we'll look at process analysis and documentation, probability and basic statistics, statistical distributions, and collecting and summarizing data. And then we'll end with measurement system analysis. In the analyze phase, we're going to look at exploratory data analysis, and then some hypothesis testing. When moving into the improve phase, we'll look at design of experiments, root cause analysis, and then more in depth with lean tools. And then the final phase of DMAIC is control, where we'll look at statistical process control, control plans, and then lean tools to ensure process control. There are also two case studies with exercises that we'll be going through throughout this course. Now, the Six Sigma Greenbelt exam measures the comprehension of a certified Six Sigma Greenbelt book of knowledge. 
it's going to be multiple choice questions where multiple answer options will be given and a right answer must be selected. There will be a total of 100 questions on the exam, of which 13 of them will be around the overview of Six Sigma and organizational goals, 23 questions for both the define phase and the measure phase, 15 questions for the analyze and the improve phase, and then finally 11 questions that will be based around the control phase. Now, it is an open book exam, and participants are allowed to refer to the training module, any online sources and tables that are prescribed throughout this course. Now, in the United States, the exam is conducted throughout the entire year, and details and location and dates are going to be available on the ASQ website. For locations outside of the United States, the exam is conducted in 66 countries by international certification affiliates of the ASQ primarily in June and December. Now, if you would like to know other information or details about the exam, you can go to the ASQ website at asq.org slash CERT, which is C-E-R-T. Now, Sprint Zeal Six Sigma Greenbelt examination can be taken at any time once you've completed the course. Six Sigma Green Belt certification proves that certified professionals can analyze and solve problems related to quality that can be involved in quality improvement projects. Now, the title of the exam that you would take would be the Certified Six Sigma Green Belt Test. It lasts for approximately four hours, and there is no prerequisite to take the test. Now, for preparing for the certification, we would recommend that you would use any of the certified uh, material that Sprint Zeal provides, as well as this course. If you need some more information to prepare for the Six Sigma exam, here are four websites that you can go to that are great tools to help you prepare. We also recommend a couple of books. The first one is the Certified Six Sigma Greenbelt Handbook, and the second one is Applied Statistics for the Six Sigma Greenbelt.